So this is the pub at Shipham, the one that's open. And I haven't been down here for years, so I've almost forgotten where to go. But uh, I'm sure my memory might come back. I have, well, I've got a feeling the last time I came down here, it's been the last... It's since Jude died, I think I've been down here once. I've got a feeling I have. They've got cross fields, so I've got no idea if there's cows in them or anything. I don't know. All I know, I've got to look out for... Oh, it won't be for a while. A sign that will take me up and I could go on the West Mendit Way. Without going through fields. But I won't be surprised if it cows down there. Yeah, no. I think there probably will be. Um, so here we go, we're carrying on the walk. That was good, I spent about half an hour at the church refreshing the video actually to go on Barbara's uh, site. I can put a web link to it, which is what I do these days. I put web links on Ancestry. if you see a herd. Don't know. I don't know what I'd do. Right, straight on I think, although it looks to me you can go either way. Um, but I think we'd have to go a bit lower to be able to get up on back on the West Mendip Way. I think so. As I said, I've had to, oh, there are cows. What I've said, I've had to, um, they're over there, they might not notice me. I've had to, uh, no, that won't be there. Oops. Find different ways. Now there is a bloke with two dogs and there's a load of cows over there, look. Don't know how many there are and if they've split. At least I've got, hopefully I'll get through this long field. Fortunately there's a bloke ahead, so I don't feel quite as scared when there's someone about. But look at this lovely scene, look. <coughs> so there are cows in here. Um, I've got a feeling I go straight down, you know. I don't really know. At least they're up there and they haven't spotted me, the cows. That looks like an ash. Looks like it's alright because it's on its own. I'm going to go down here. I've got a feeling I went straight down last time. But I don't know if I get down here if it will lead me to a path where I can go. I'm just trying to work out the, um, the distances. Do you know what I mean? Of where I would go. I think there's another cow up there. I don't know yet. I'm looking for signs more than anything. There might be a cow, might not be. But normally I would come down and I had to go across there. Then there were some fields. It could be those fields there. That are the fields I would have had to come up, go across. Not sure yet. If that is a cow, it could be a bull. A bull will often sit alone. So far, I only saw about four cows. But cows will go in the shade as well. Do you know what I mean? They will go in the shade. Yeah. So to sometimes deviate from your very routine walking, I've been exploring a lot more. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I am. I'm hoping that there'll be, there's a farm somewhere where I can go up and join the West Mendip Way. Just a bit. Candleford Cottage. Yeah, I'm very, it's very vague for me. I've got a feeling we did go up that way though. I just can't remember, it's so long ago. All I know, if I get to an avenue of trees, I can follow it down to the road. That's what I want to do. On this occasion I do. If I can. I, I don't quite know where I am at the moment. I feel lost. <coughs> Could be that track there I go on. I don't know. It's changed a lot since I was here last, I reckon. Just don't know, shall do you? The sign's disappeared. Oh, there's somebody I could ask. I still oh, believe that I could have walked over there, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to take her advice. This, I've met a girl from another country, uh, uh, and she lives in Winterscombe now. She's a very fit young lady. And she pointed out some directions. She said, go down here for five minutes, then turn left. And then you come to a crossroad. One says Sidgut. One says Winscombe. Okay. So, like I said, I really can't remember at all how I did this. That's why I'm doing it today. Because I can't remember. Right? Are you sure though? If you go down this road, you come to a road. Maybe that's what she meant. That I would come to a road. It does look like a drive, doesn't it? You can imagine, I've got a feeling I followed some people once and we went right the way around the, around there. <sighs> I don't want to be late for the bus, not now. Oh dear. It's going to be going on for... Look, there's a sign. Public footpath. It's looking a bit more familiar. I'm videoing it, everyone because, uh, yes, yes, I can see now. She said to go left though. After five minutes. I ain't going up there. I'm going to carry on down here. Out onto the road. That says private land. Private drive. Right, I'm going to turn off and take a photo. Right then, it's about quarter past four. I've got an hour and three quarters. So there's no rush. I said if I got back to Winscombe at five, I'd only have an hour to wait. Right. I only got an hour to There's the road. All I know, I've just got to remember how I get to Winscombe. You know? I know there's a way through somewhere, but I can't remember it. There's a big tree fell there. And I've got, this is the first part of the journey now. I've got to go on the main A38. There is a path. So all the peace now will be gone. Whereas when I did a, a walk with somebody else once, we went through those fields there and came out further up. You didn't have to walk far to get into the... Um, get into the town. I just haven't worked out 
the fields from that from the farm that I used to do. I, I haven't worked out where it is, so that field. You know? So it's not even five o'clock yet. We've no need to rush whatsoever. Winscombe isn't far. It's very hot at the bus stop. Yeah, there's the road. A38. I knew there was an avenue. She didn't seem to know when I said avenue of trees, drive. Whereas before, I think I came out and I went up into some fields and we came across those fields and there was a gate, there was a way, but we came out, we didn't have to do this bit, just can't remember it, can't remember it at all. I think that's where you probably could have picked up the field. This is quicker. Like if you got one, you'd have to do loads of the strawberry line. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I hate this. I really do. I've got to hate this bit now. I've got to go. I've got to go onto a road. It's really horrible. Right, let's turn off then for a minute, everyone. Been a really great walk. I'm now back in civilization. You can hear it. Hear it? And I've got to walk around the corner to be able to get to where I want to go. Turning off. Last final stages of the walk, really, now coming down into the town. Just met a lovely young lady who I'm chatting to. She pointed out some walks where you can get from over there. And you can walk down through the fields and come into Winscombe this way. So that's a, uh, that's another chance for me to do a different sort of walk. If you know what I mean. I'm just carrying on down here, you know. I mean, I don't know if I've got to turn off or anything. I'm just hoping that I'll come down into the village. I can see the fire engine, the fire station. And of course, we, like we said, we've got all this scenery. We've got, um, so over there, that's um, Banwell Hill Fort. Reference point, the big tree on the top of it. And then we've got Sanford with the new path that you can see there, coming through that gap. Just weave yourself across the fields. Looks like a school down there. I can see the fire station. I'm with Bobby in the town. <laughs> the pub is. But basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, go in the shop and uh, I don't really need to buy a cold drink but I might treat myself to one. I don't know really. I'm just videoing, it's last minute, last minute videoing before you reach the town. Lovely fields, look at that lovely scene. I'm going to turn off and take a picture of the clouds and right. the grass. <laughs> got about three quarters of an hour, I'll say half an hour. I'm calling off here by the Win old Winscombe Railway Station. It's out, the strawberry line is here. There's my rucksack, my drinks. I've just bought a prawn sandwich. I was so hungry. 
Now I've got my cheese, I thought, oh, I'm really hungry. And it's going to be several hours before I can eat. So I bought a prawn sandwich. Absolutely gorgeous. And I bought myself a na naughty Fanta as well. So it's been a brilliant day. I've also got a little bit of fruit there. I got one of those meal deals. They do them in the co-op. I didn't know that. Anyway, so I just thought, well, I've got to have something to eat. And there's the strawberry line, which I used a lot at the beginning of the year. I was exploring when I couldn't get to Cheddar. I was trying to work out all the different routes I could do. And so this is the new junction point, um, Winscombe, don't forget. Um, Winscombe and Sanford are the new areas that I now use to come out on the hills. Otherwise I would never get anywhere. Old Station Millennium Green. There's a picture of it when it was old. With the old steam train. Faded now. There's my my little untidy picnic and that ru lovely little rucksack. I'm sorry. <coughs> what the hell's Vex Moron? In the past. I'm trying it out. I've got to get used to it again. <coughs> Ready for a, a possible camping long weekend or a long week. A couple of days in the week, probably, I'll do. Not weekends. And I've got to check the trains are working and all that, you know. So, just hanging on the time now we've got here. I'm cooling off. The bus faces uh, the sun, so I don't want to rush to get there, but I, I need to get there ten, quarter of an hour before. Before it comes. I've got the toilets down there as well I can use. Right, over and out.